Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I thought we would go over everything that I'm decluttering from the past year. Most of these things are a mixture of my chopping box series that I did and also just random odds and ends that I knew it was time to say goodbye to from my collection. Why don't we go ahead and jump into it? All right, as we get started, I have a rather large basket here and I think I'm just gonna go randomly. So I hope you don't mind that. It's just easier to get it done that way. We have a couple, well, I think the majority of things I would say are probably lip products. Um, I know off the top of my head, I see a couple here. We have, and I'm not gonna distinguish which ones were from my chopping block series and which ones weren't. If I can't remember, maybe I'll mention them. Um, I think pretty much all of these were though. Um, we have two liquid lipsticks from NYX. I really liked this formula, but just in general, I do not reach for liquid lipsticks all that often anymore. So while these are fun for a time, I think they're also some of my oldest lipsticks in my collection. It was just time to let those go. Another pink lipstick that I'm letting go of is this one from Bite Beauty in the shade Quince. I really liked it, but um, honestly, I have like I have a light pink shade that I'm really drawn to in my collection. I have a really hot pink shade that I love in my collection. And when I think about wearing a pink lipstick, those are probably, if I'm gonna do a statement lip, those are gonna be one of those two that I'm gonna use. So I'm trying to push myself to get rid of quite a few. Then we have this like kind of sheer pinky, it looks kind of purpley toned um, shade in Milan. I tried to make this work as a blush, not that unique. Honestly, I have like berry toned blushes. So I decided to let that one go. We have a nude here in the color jolt shade stripped down. This one was a nice color, but I don't remember like or I did not like the formula in terms of there it's a little too pigmented goes a little too crazy on my face for it being that kind of uh, it's not it, it's not like as budge proof as a lipstick a little bit too much like a gloss and too pigmented and that makes sense and then this guy here was probably the hardest one to let go of this is the elf shade ripe rose just a really pretty pretty lipstick um not too too pigmented not too thick really nice formula but honestly this probably might be my oldest lipstick yeah probably my oldest lipstick if i'm honest with myself and i just it doesn't smell a little bit like a crayon but honestly it's just that i don't reach for it and have other shades really similar to this and formulas that are newer and that i'm just as likely to reach for so i figured it was an easy one to let go of i have a couple eyeshadows here on top um, liquid eyeshadows. Uh, this one is technically a liquid highlight from Stila, but I used it as an eyeshadow and I have uh, duped it essentially in a better formula now. So I'm letting go of that. And then I have this guy here from Wet n Wild that completely just dried out. This was from that um, mermaid collection they did a whole way, way long time ago. I bought the entire collection. I remember being so excited for it and it was fun, um, but I really didn't get a ton of wear with the black shade. I did have one look that I really liked doing with it, but other than that, I wore it just a handful of times. So maybe, maybe not uh, the most worn shade and definitely wasted a good bit of product there but you know you live you learn um i really learned what my preferences are now i'm decluttering this z palette here hopefully you'll see there i tried to clean it off and i ended up wiping off the holographic part of it and it's just kind of bulky and not practical so i figured um and nowadays it just kind of makes me feel like it, it feels cheap um, I believe it was cheap. I got it on Amazon. And so I, I, I kind of realized like I don't enjoy having it around. It, it looks clunky and ugly in my collection and I don't want it. So I've replaced it with a different one this year and got rid of that one. I have a couple, just two foundations here. Um, this one from Smashbox felt a little bit thick and just also this Milani one was a little bit too thick. It looked really bad on my skin. So declaring both of those. By the way, those were two that definitely went through my little shopping box series and didn't make it as well as these two blushes here these are both from wet n wild i really really enjoyed these blushes obviously i've hit pan on both of them pearlescent pink and apricot in the middle apricot in the middle is a stunning shade but the packaging it's awful i hate reaching into them now uh, because they're just broken and annoying to use and you know what i probably I, I know i have these colors over and over and over in my collection so time to let these go i feel like i've done well though at least knowing that i've hit pan on them and then this guy here was a little bit of a hard one for me i really like this palette from stila but i just realized that i don't reach for it these days i use this blush so so often i really really enjoyed it 
um, but I do have other Coralie blushes in my collection. Um, I used this as an eyeshadow quite often. I really enjoyed it. Really nice little thing. I think I believe I got it like $5 at TJ Maxx, and again, I just don't use it now, so I'm gonna let that one go too. All right, these are really random. I have a bunch of little singles that I let go of, and I believe I decluttered some uh, to a friend too, but um, they're just, they're from a NYX advent calendar way, way, way back in the day, and I barely, barely use them. They're, they only look beat up because they've been sitting in my declutter or my empties bin for a whole year now. And um, yeah, they're not bad quality. I don't love NYX formula, but they were fine. And I just realized like once I started getting into eyeshadow, they literally might be some of my oldest eyeshadows in my collection. Once I, I bought the, the advent calendar and then I was like, oh shoot, I can kind of do a little bit more color than I think I can. Started buying eyeshadow palettes and then then I realized I'm not going to reach for these singles. They're kind of boring, kind of bland. And I think I was just holding on to the sentimental fact that they were some of the earliest makeup that I purchased. This came from a five below palette. Um, and I believe I, I used up the other, it was like two different shades of bronzer, but this one's really like kind of light. So letting that one go, letting go of this like little Lorac. I don't even know. I think I've used up the bronzer that this came with a long time ago. I don't even know how it still is sitting around in my collection. I have a blush or an eyeshadow here from NYX that I used in a project as um, a blush, hit pan on it. And again, I just have corally, sheeny, goldy blushes a million times over, so letting that go. We have another lipstick here from uh, NYX, another of their, this came in the same advent calendar, so really, really old. Um, and then this Nivea guy here is just, yeah, I don't even know what it is. I, I don't find it particularly nourishing like a Nivea chapstick would be. And in fact, it just kind of looks milky white on top of anything that I put on. Not really flattering. I don't know why I've kept it around as long as I have. Mostly because I've had issues letting things go, but I'm working on it. I also have another little eyeshadow here that was hiding underneath the other ones. I am kind of bummed to say that I have to let this go. This is the Marc Jacobs eyeliner. Um, I just simply let this dry out. I, I waited and waited and waited to use it because it was Marc Jacobs. And um, I was thinking to myself, this will be cool to put in a project one day. I put it, I started testing it earlier in the year or at the end of last year thinking maybe I'll put this in a project next year. And it is just so dried out. I cannot get it to work. So unfortunately I bit myself in the foot with that one. I don't even know what bite yourself in the foot is. Uh, a nail polish from Simple Colors. I, yeah, this one, I'm not even sure what the shade is for this, but it's just like this corally shade. I believe it might've been matte too. Um, and I just don't find myself reaching for shades like that. I have, um, if I'm wearing like pinks like that, they're usually like neon. I love, love, love neon colors. So uh, I'm gonna let that go because I just don't see myself wearing it. This is a blush from Lancome that I had hit pan on. And then when I went to go use it the other day, I realized it had shattered. And I asked myself, do I really want to repress this? When again, I have this shade over and over and over in my collection. So I just decided I'm gonna let it go. I used a really good amount of that up so I don't feel too bad about that. This guy here, if you know this palette, if you know, you know. I wanted to like this palette so much, really enjoyed the color story. There was a shade up here, uh, just a basic brown, cool tone brown shade that I really, really, really liked. I tried so hard to get it out. I broke it and broke it and the palette just broke and broke and broke. And I, for the longest time, wanted to keep it for the red shade and for that shade. But you know, I decided I'm going to let it go. This palette has spent too much time disappointing me. It is now in my entire lap. My, my entire lap is colored different colors. So that'll be fun cleaning off this rug later. Um, and I'm just, I'm so ready to see this go. Good riddance to that. And then the last thing here is another bittersweet one. This is my ABH Cream Contour Palette. I worked on this, um, on painting this when I was in Sweden, and I believe I had to stop because I got pregnant and, or something. I don't, I don't remember exactly why I didn't finish it all, but um, I really made good progress with it. This, this here was the last bit of these two guys. Um, I used up almost all of this. I used up the, the highlighter completely, and then these two were my last shades, and I went to go touch them the other day, and I was like, oh, shoot, they are, like just dried out and I probably could try to rehydrate them with some oil but it honestly kind of grosses me out because these are really 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 old I really enjoyed the packaging on this product maybe more than I enjoyed the it's like magnetic uh, more than I enjoyed the product the product wasn't like bad at the time but I think nowadays cream products like this are just like 
light years ahead in quality so i decided you know what i'm gonna let it go i don't feel too bad considering that i used a good bit of the product up and believe me this was a task it these creams are very pigmented very thick and it was a lot of work to use these up so i'm very proud and a little bit bittersweet to see it go just because it was something that i'm proud of panning but definitely gonna let this go now but yeah that's everything I feel pretty good about that. I'm very impressed seeing a lot of those products came from the chopping block series that I did. And I really enjoyed doing that series, but just seeing all of this like at the end of the year piled up together makes me go, you know what? I'm doing better with letting things go, which is nice. So make sure you say hello in the comments. Let me know how y'all are doing and I will see you in the next one. Bye.